morning guys and welcome to today's video. It is, I don't even know what time it is, Sam went down, put out our beautiful horses and it's gonna be warm today I think. Rainy now, dark now, but that's okay. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. If you guys don't know something about Sam, it's that he is a junk collector. He likes to buy cheap things that he finds online and then resell them. Like, this is his thing. And today, we are here on an expedition to find cheap junk. And this is it. So, we've had other lawn tractors in the past um, and sold them because we haven't needed them. And so he found this one online and we're here to buy it. Basically, the guy that owns this stuff and this house died and a, and a lawyer is handling all the sales. So Sam contacted the lawyer on the internet to buy the lawn tractor and he sent it here to this house. And it's so cute. The house is for sale. There's a little pond back there. It's a cute little house. A little stream and a bridge. So I think he's gonna buy that lawn tractor and then we are gonna be the proud owners of more junk for our junky property. But anyway, I'm excited to go home and be with our horses now. Sam did chores this morning, so I haven't even got to spend time with them. All right, so uh, we picked up the lawnmower and we were headed home and I was on Instagram and I realized that there's like a bunch. Turn left onto 11th line east. There's a bunch of confusion about all the new things that are happening in our videos. Um, so this girl named A.B. Walsh, Abby Walsh, A.O.B. Hulash, I don't know how to say that, but anyway, this amazing girl on Instagram said, uh, just a question, do you have new coaches? Do you have new coaches now due to the new barn or is Fiona and Brandon teaching there? Or will you still be getting lessons at home? I'm just a little confused. So yeah, I did not share all the information yet because I wanted to spread it out into future videos. But basically you'll have seen if you watched last night's video that Fiona is still gonna be our coach at the new place, which is amazing. We will still have lessons at our barn with our horses. Uh, race car driver Brandon will come to our barn. We're gonna still be setting stuff up, making it better and better each time that he comes. Um, and Fiona will still come to our barn once a week. It's only once a week that we'll travel out. A lot of you guys that are on Team Stella um, are worried about her and worried about what's gonna happen with her and don't worry. One week I'll have a lesson on Stella at home and then the next week I'll have a lesson on Polly. Then the next week I'll have a lesson on Stella at home and then the next week I'll have a lesson with Polly. So I'm still gonna be riding uh, Stella. I'm gonna be progressing my skills on Polly so that I can ride Stella better. It's not that I wanna ride Polly, it's that I wanna ride Stella better, if that makes sense. And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms. You sing la, 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 la. So we are in the part of our day where we start really building our chicken coop because our chickens need to get outside. Like in Canada, people don't go outside until um. this weekend. This weekend coming up is the outside weekend of where we live. So we are at the dollar store looking for private property signs and we can't find anything. But I found these. Yeah. That is not what they're for. <laughs> Cones for our arena and outside. Yeah, and these ones are really cool. Even though they're at the dollar store, they're rubber so that you can't break them. And we actually saw them last night at our new school, riding school. And they're like a good size. I love them. So one thing that I absolutely love about being on a farm is... You can find treasure. Is... No, not the mess. Not the tr... Whoa. You can find treasure. No. Nope, is that Horses. no matter where you go and no matter what you do during the day there's always something amazing to come home to like it's lunchtime and so we have to be back to feed and it's just like I don't know how to explain it for any of you guys who have ever breastfed you know that feeling when you sit down to feed your baby and it's just a peace like oh I'm having a rest that's what horses are like yeah but breastfeeding is less messy So Sam cleaned the whole entire 
Trevor Barron today. He unlocked every stall. There's my house. Um, Coat, yeah. All right. Oh, there's, the Hendrix. there's the Hendrix. Hello. She's like, unless you got the food back away. Aw, that was the best kiss I ever saw. Oh, you're looking good, Willow. So we've had these pylons for 35 seconds and we're already setting them up. So uh, we got eight pylons that hopefully we'll do. So anyways, before I was a YouTuber, I had like a job and was like a normal member of society. Now I just met my house and do horses and that's it. But I also used to have a really super fancy camera and shoot pictures. Like I have always been editing, whether it's been video or um, still pictures. And so today I dusted out my old camera and I'm gonna try and take some pictures of our horses today for our um, channel art. I'm excited. Okay, does this ever happen to you? I feel good, I feel good. And then the minute I get down in the barn and start working, I'm so hungry, I have to go back up to the house and eat. I hate when that happens. So the horses are having their lunch now. I'm gonna go have my lunch and then I'll come back and we are gonna try and free jump Finn, I think. Summer city, there's no place on earth. in and clean up and did you put the stuff all the way under the ground a little Ooh. so uh, this is it this is our little chicken i'm like so excited small but they'll be able to go underneath and it'll get bigger it'll go down that way eventually it's cute yeah, once we get a bigger, we're gonna get another, a bigger one of these, or we could even get like another one this size and attach them somehow. You could buy a bigger one. This is our just starting out chicken coop. It's nice. Drying up. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that did not work. Basically, Gabby walks on that styrofoam thing. I think I'm too heavy. <laughs> I just cracked it. Stop the presses. What did you just say to me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Start at the beginning. Whoa, no, no, no. We had to start at we had to. We had to uh, lunge in. What else did you just say? You had to use whose brushes? My brushes. How come? Um, see, that's what we're talking Mom's brushes are in the trailer. So, yeah, they're using my brushes, you guys, because their brushes are still in the horse trailer from yesterday. Oh, Mom, I cut his tail. So much... you, <gasps> you cut his tail? Mom, it was, it was going to be, like, all the it way It was to touching the, the ground. It was all covered in mud. And I got to storm a will all the time. Um, I knew I was going to regret sending you guys down here using no. my brushes. He's a little unsettled because he's in here alone. I'm gonna do his feet. You guys do not do good feet work. We haven't touched uh, What did you just say about his mane? It's thick, we need to pull it. Crazy Red Chestnut on Instagram has like a thinning brush. All right, Crazy I Red Chestnut, we need to Instagram. go and message her and see where she got it because we need that. Because I don't want to cut his, I don't want to thin his, I don't want to pull his mane. Look at it's getting yellow, or that's pee. Ew. It's him like. So. Um, and think the mud. It's calmer when he's not tied oh. up. So I think when he's tied up, he feels stressed. Some horses' bridle paths is down to here. Yeah, not I our horses. That. We like to keep their hair long. <laughs> so definitely his uh, mane has to get pulled. We're going to start that. Because Sophie, you show in two weeks. Three yeah, weeks. I show in a week. Yeah, you show him one week. Mom, can you do that after? Because I just wait. Who who remembers when we bought this huge jug of coconut oil? And then oil? Toby licked it. Yeah, and then a dog licked inside of it. But anyway, I like to use coconut oil. I broke it up with. I like to put it in my coffee, but not after the dog oh, no, licked no, it. No, no, no. Oh, Hendrix jumped down from there. Hey, okay. Hendrix. So it's still quite cold out. So this stuff takes a while to melt. No, I have it already. Oh, you have some, but. I should use this for my hair. You can't put oil in your hair. Found you today. It feels like it's been forever. Laughing all day. We spin around, we spin around your hand reaching.
itch is mine. Yeah, so he does get itchy here, or else he just does it when he poops on the wall. He does that when he poops on the wall, trust me. How does that feel? I wonder if horses like their butts rubbed. Fiona told us we needed to saturate his tail with some kind of product. I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of free lunging. I'm not a fan a fan of I'm not a fan of anything that involves a racing horse. Give me a mountain to I think I should leave this spot. stop and he'd stop dead yeah that's amazing so our trainer teaches us to blow out when we want our horse to stop like a big you know how to exaggerate you know to slow down like to exaggerate the what you do when you breathe out <laughs> he's so trained he's so smart <laughs> Good boy. It's the same old story being told inside my head. I'm too shy to straighten up my bones. So basically, once the boys are used to hay or grass, this whole field will be for the girls until we get their field ready. So anyway, there's a little tiny bit of grass in this field, but nothing really. Don't eat a lot of grass, okay? So I opened the field up for the mares to go back there while we take the boys to eat grass. And they did not even look back. They're just gone. <laughs>
And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.